Hey there, and welcome to another episode of The 650. This is a weekly countdown of the 50 most valuable comic books today that were released six months ago. This week, I'll be reviewing the values and trends for comics released on March 29th, 2023. And now, here is this week's The 650. Number 50, Unstoppable Doom Patrol number one from DC Comics. This is the Nathan Zerdy foil 1 in 50 retailer incentive, $35.66. Number 49, Deadpool number 4 from Marvel Comics. This is the Miko Suyan 2023 Megacon black and white virgin variant. This is limited to 1,000 copies, $36. Number 48, Venom Lethal Protector 2 number 1. This is the Miko Suyan store exclusive, limited to 3,000 copies, $36.13. Number 47, Flash, number 123 from DC Comics. This is the 2023 Megacon foil facsimile, limited to 1,000 copies, $37. Number 46, Venom Lethal Protector 2, number 1 from Marvel Comics. This is the Greg Horn 2023 Megacon Virgin variant, $38. Number 46, Venom Lethal Protector 2, number 1. This is the Greg Horn 2023 Megacon Virgin Convention exclusive, $38. Number 45, Venom Lethal Protector 2, number 1. This is the Chrissy Zulo 2023 Megacon Virgin Convention exclusive, $39.99. Number 44, Venom Lethal Protector 2, number 1. This is the Chrissy Zulo 2023 Megacon Convention exclusive, $39.99. Number 43, Spider-Man Unforgiven, number 1. This is the Gabriel Delato 2023 Megacon Virgin Convention exclusive, limited to 500 copies, $39.99. Number 42, 300, number one, from Dynamite Entertainment. This is the John Jang 2023 Megacon 25th Anniversary Virgin Convention Exclusive, limited to 500 copies, $39.99. Number 41, Something is Killing the Children, number 30, from Boom Studios. This is the Tyler Kirkham Store Exclusive Battle Damage Virgin Foil variant limited to 500 copies, $40. Number 40, Venom Lethal Protector 2, number 1. This is the Paola Sequeira second print wraparound, 1 in 25 retailer incentive, $40.89. Number 39, Star Wars Return of the Jedi Jabba's Palace, number 1 from Marvel Comics. This is the Alex Maleev 1 in 25 retailer incentive, $41.15. Number 38, Something is Killing the Children, number 30 from Boom Studios. This is the Josh Hickson Tiny Onion exclusive, limited to 500 copies, $43.25. Number 37, X-23 Deadly Regenesis, number 1 from Marvel Comics. This is the Tiago da Silva 2023 Megacon Virgin Convention Exclusive, $43.98. Number 36, Venom Lethal Protector 2, number 1. This is the Alex Ross Virgin Sketch 1 in 100 Retailer Incentive, $44.98. Number 35, Star Trek Strange New Worlds, the Illyrian Enigma number 4. This is the Rachel Stott Cover D 1 in 25 Retailer Incentive, $44.99. Number 34, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, number 4. This is the EM Gist Virgin 1 in 100 Retailer Incentive, $45.67. Number 33, Daredevil, number 9. This is the Alex Ross Sketch 1 in 100 Retailer Incentive, $45.99. Number 32, Invincible Iron Man number 4. This is the Alex Ross sketch variant. It is a 1 in 100 retailer incentive, $46.16. Number 31, Venom Lethal Protector 2 number 1. This is the Alan Qua Megacon 2023 Virgin Convention exclusive, 
$49.99. Number 30, Venom Lethal Protector 2, number one. This is the Matthew DeMasi Gold Shattered Edition store exclusive, limited to 3,000 copies, $53.06. Number 29, Star Wars The Mandalorian, number eight. This is the EMGIST 2023 Megacon Virgin Convention Exclusive, limited to 666 copies, $53.39. Number 28, Hallow's Eve, number one, from Marvel Comics. This is the Tiago da Silva 2023 Megacon Virgin Convention Exclusive, limited to 1,000 copies, $55. Number 27, 300, number one, from Dark Horse Comics. This is the Johnny Desjardins 2023 Megacon 25th Anniversary Convention Exclusive, limited to 500 copies, $55. Number 26, X-Men, number 20 from Marvel Comics. This is the Nathan Zerdy 2023 Megacon Virgin Convention Exclusive, $57.64. Number 25, Dungeons & Dragons, Saturday Morning Adventures, number one from IDW. This is the Tim Levens Cover C, 1 in 10, Retailer Incentive, $59.50. Number 24, 300, number one, the Ryan Otley, 2023 Megacon, 25th Anniversary Black and White Convention Exclusive, $60. Number 23, Something is Killing the Children, number 30, the Ariel Diaz, Foil, Virgin Store Exclusive, limited to 500 copies, $65.95. Number 22, Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars, number 8 from Marvel Comics. This is the El Quinto Mundo Mexican Foil, limited to 1,000 copies, $67.80. Number 21, Star Wars Return of the Jedi Jabba's Palace, number 1 from Marvel Comics. This is the Alex Maleev Second Print Virgin 1 in 25 Retailer Incentive, $68. Number 20, Indigo Children, number one from Image Comics. This is the Jenny Frizen 1 in 50 Retailer Incentive, $69.02. Number 19, Darkwing Duck, number one from Dynamite Entertainment. This is the Clayton Crane 2023 Megacon Virgin Convention Exclusive, limited to 500 copies, $69.40. Number 18, Action Comics, number 1053 from DC Comics. This is the Will Jack 2023 Megacon Variant C Virgin Foil Convention Exclusive, $69.85. Number 17, Venom Lethal Protector 2, number 1. This is the Matthew DeMasi Black Shattered Edition, store exclusive, limited to 1,000 copies, $71.86. Number 16, Something is Killing the Children, number 30, from Boom Studios. This is the Tula Lote Virgin Foil variant, $72.97. Number 15, Eight Billion Genies, number one, from Image Comics. This is the Ryan Brown 2023 C2E2 Director's Cut, limited to 500 copies, $73.99. Number 14, Harley Quinn, number 28, from DC Comics. This is the Pablo Villalobos Virgin Store Exclusive, limited to 600 copies, $76.60. Number 13, Action Comics, number 1053 from DC Comics. This is the Will Jack Virgin Store Exclusive, limited to 1,000 copies, $77.82. Number 12, Superman, number 75 from DC Comics. This is the 2023 Megacon Blue Foil Store Exclusive, $77.99. Number 11, Gargoyles, number 1 from Dynamite Entertainment. This is the Clayton Crane 2023 Megacon Stone in Fire Virgin Convention Exclusive limited to 500 copies, $80. And now for your top 10. At number 10, 300, number 1, the Ryan Otley 2023 Megacon 25th Anniversary Convention Exclusive limited to 300 copies, $88.88. Number 9, Action Comics, number 1053 from DC Comics. This is the Will Jack 2023 Megacon Variant D Virgin Foil Convention Exclusive, 
$92.59. Number eight, Indigo Children, number one from Image Comics. This is the Jenny Frizen black and white one in 75 retailer incentive, $93.39. Number seven, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, Jabba's Palace, number one from Marvel Comics. This is the Ryan Brown Virgin variant. It is a one in a hundred retailer incentive, $112.49. Number six, 300, number one, from Dark Horse Comics. This is the Ariel Diaz 2023 Megacon 25th Anniversary Medal Convention Exclusive, limited to 100 copies, $119.99. Number five, Invincible Iron Man, number four, from Marvel Comics. This is the Arthur Adams second print, black and white, one in 25 retailer incentive. $149.95. Number four, 300 number one from Dark Horse Comics. This is the Simone Bianchi 2023 Megacon 25th Anniversary Medal Convention Exclusive Limited to 100 copies, $150. Number three, Something is Killing the Children, number 30 from Boom Studios. This is the Tula Lotte Virgin Variant it is a one in a hundred retailer incentive, $186.94. Number two, Tim Drake Robin. Number seven from DC Comics. This is the Serge Acuna one in 25 retailer incentive, $232.66. And number one, Darkwing Duck. Number one from Dynamite Entertainment. This is the Gabriel Delato. 2023 Megacon Metal Convention Exclusive Limited to 50 Copies, $245. So there was this week's list. Uh, pretty obvious it was dominated by the Megacon Convention Exclusive books. Um, you know, I, what did I learn from this list? Um, I think that those books are in demand. They're they're collectible. They're very, very limited. Uh, but I think that it's cyclical, meaning that I think when these conventions pop up and there are exclusives, I know a lot of comic book collectors go to these conventions and purchase just the exclusives. Um, there's lots of other things to do with the convention, obviously. The cosplay, uh, witnessed signature events, meeting creators, and all of that. But I think a big draw, especially to some of these more prominent conventions, are these convention exclusives, but they're really kind of store exclusives for the convention. But I think it was about half the list, uh, roughly, that was dominated by these types of books. A couple more of those Alex Ross 1 in 100 sketch variants made the list, but you can kind of see over time they end up settling in somewhere around the $30 to $40 range. And I think in general, there, there were some surprises. The Dungeons & Dragons 1 in 10 making the list a perfect example of an probably an underprinted popular book where that 1 in 10 was really the only incentive available. Several 1 in 25s valued above ratio. The second book on the list was a 1 in 25, the Tim Drake Robin number 7 which would have been the clear front runner for number one if it weren't for the extremely limited and rare 50 copy Del Auto Darkwing Duck that was number one. Now, I typically shy away from convention exclusives, uh, moving a little bit away from store exclusives as well. But I think it's a really good example of just a fun collectible. But I think sometimes, especially with these extremely limited versions, it can get quite expensive. But it looks to me like... The values at least hold up. And then if you look at the Action Comics book, where we've got some slight variations on the Will Jack Power Girl cover, it's one of those, like, if you love the cover and you bought it as a store exclusive, and then you see additional variants on top of that, foils, full art that are convention exclusives, then you feel like, well, I'm already kind of invested in collecting this particular artist or a specific kind of set of trade and full art variants, and then there's another variation of that that comes out, the collector in you feels like, well, I have to get those too. So that's another reason why a lot of these books hold value is that they have a limited print run, and they're sort of hand-picked to be a convention exclusive 
for a very good reason. A lot of the 300 number one, the 25th anniversary made the list, but I have noticed at least that one trend where the convention exclusives, as they come out, six months later, they're still doing pretty well. Let me know what you think of this week's list. Do you have any of the books on the list? Did any books that you saw in this video pique your interest? And are you now chasing them or looking out for them? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, happy collecting, and see you next time.